All right. Hey guys, welcome back to day two of Papers, Please. My favorite thing about this game is how it manages to throw so much stuff at you with such a simplistic and easy to understand interface and seemingly easy to understand game mechanics. So before I start this off, I wanted to draw up a little diagram of what's gone on so far as of day one. We are some sort of passport control person. We're instructed to let in our Stodskins, but reject all others. And we have a huge line of people and limited time to decide whether people can come in or not. So we're like setting up this gameplay element where we're checking passports and seeing if the people are from our Stotska or not. At the same time, we have a bit of world building work, uh, working for us. We've got a paper that we read at the start of every day, which tells us that the borders have just been opened for the first time in six years and somebody waited in line for a very long time on day one to tell us that this was a mistake so it'll be interesting we've only been provided this mechanic of us being a passport control person we've been provided no way to like uh navigate international politics or policy decisions on passport control itself so it'll be interesting to see how our little job as a passport control person interact with that and at the same time, we have a family. There are four members in the family, and we can turn food and heat on and off, depending on how much money we want to spend on them. And what we don't know yet, and I think this is the real beauty of Papers, Please, is there's been no instruction on how we actually win this game. So it's like an open world. It's like an open world the size of Skyrim or something, except the world is like this big, and it has no graphics and one game mechanic. And I think that's just an amazing, amazing space. Anyway, with that said, we got to get back to work. So I'm going to get this window off the screen. Let's play day two. Custom checkpoint is a success. Increased trade and cooperation is predicted, apparently. November 24. 82. Sports and entertainment. Apparently there aren't many sports in our Stotska. Alright. So one thing I noticed is we weren't making very good use of our downtime, I don't think. Let's see what's happening here. Foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. So... How do I find out if they're not valid? It looks good to me. As far as I can tell, expires. Where, what's the date? It hasn't expired yet. All right. Entrance must have a passport and all papers must be current. 82, 11, 24. So this is expired. Uh, yeah. Ooh, we can interrogate the person. All right. Goodbye, dude. What's going on? We have some information about the other countries. Okay. Looks good to me. <laughs> he was meeting his son or something? I wasn't listening to what he said there. This looks... Oh... Is that a guy? Okay. I believe you. That looks sort of like a woman to be at first glance, but uh, uh see? Yeah, there you go. Alright. We have an invitation to a nightclub or something. The pink vice for all your fantasies. Trying to get us confused. We've been cited for letting in someone with an invalid gender. There are only two genders, after all. 
person looks good to me from collection. And somebody's jumping the barricade. And our NPC with the gun is shooting at them. And they are throwing a very explosive soda can. All right. My son is sick and needs medical attention. So I don't think we need heat today. So let's give some food and medicine. Uh, a lot happened that day. It wasn't a very long day, but we had some more complicated requirements going on. We had to check people's genders and the expirations on their passports and stuff like that. We're allowed to let in people from all the other countries, apparently, as long as their passport is valid. It's a lot to do. Our family is starving. Sort of a, a natural consequence of not feeding them. And somebody jumped the border and then threw a grenade. So, obviously, obviously this is starting to ramp up pretty quickly. Uh, we got through it okay, though. One citation for somebody having the wrong gender on their passport, but otherwise we're good. And uh, it'll be exciting to see what tomorrow brings. Terrorists strike at Grustena. More guards, more scrutiny. All right, it sounds like my job.